All right, let's now start to organize our code with the LED class. So for now, as you have seen, we have the LED class defined here, and then we create the LED object, and then we have the setup and the loop function. What I'm going to do first is to create a header file. To create a header file, well, basically we need to create a new file on our project. And to do this, well, there is a button here. You can click on this button and you click on new tab. And you can see on the bottom here, you have name for new file and you can choose a name. And I'm going to name it LED, just like the class here. So the same name dot H and then click on OK. And you have a new file LED.h. And now the very first thing we are going to do for any header file we create, and this is very important, you should do that for every header file, is to create what we call define guards. So let me create one and let me explain to you. So you do if and def, so basically if not define, okay, like this, if and def. And then let's put the name LED underscore H. Define LED H. So if this is not defined, we define it. And then we add end if. And everything we are going to write in this file will be between the define and the end if. And this is basically why we do this is when we are going to include that file from other files. All the content here will be written on the other file. So basically, if we have two different files that call the LED.h, we will have a duplication of the code. So the class will be duplicated everywhere. By using the header guards like this, we make sure that the class will be written only once in the program. Okay, so if and if, and then define and then end if. So well, you just need to remember you have to use this structure for any header file you create. And for, well, for the define, what you can use is simply the name of the file. Okay, so here the name of the file is LED and then underscore H, all uppercase. So that's also a convention that you can follow. All right, and now I can write the code inside this, okay, between the define and end if. So I'm going to go here and just take the entire class. I'm going to cut and paste it here, like this. So now on the main file, we have nothing. Okay, and if we try to compile like this, of course, that's not going to work. And in the header file, so here, we have the LED class, okay, between the define and the end if. One important thing you need to add also, specific to Arduino, and when you create other files than the uh, main file, is if you are going to use the Arduino functionalities, so for example, pin mode, digital write, digital write here, or milis, or whatever, you need to also include, so again, after the define LDH, everything will be after this, you need to include the Arduino library, so Arduino with the angle brackets, arduino.h. And I'm going to show you later the error that you are going to get if you don't include that, okay? because there is no magic. If you want to use the Arduino functionalities, you need the Arduino library. And where the magic is actually uh, with the Arduino IDE is that from the main program that you have here, this line is automatically added for you. So that's why you don't need to include Arduino in your main program. But when you add a new file, this line will not be added for you. So you have to add it um, by yourself. And now if I try to, so if I try to compile, let's actually save as, let's say LDOOP with organized. Okay, so I save it. And now let's verify the code. And we get an error, of course. And the error is here because LED does not name a type. Because, well, you have the LED class, which is in a different file, but well, you don't include that file. So what you need to do here is do include. And then to include the file, you are going to use quotes. You are not going to use angle brackets. If you include the file from your folder here, you use quotes, LED.h. So that is the name of the file. 
When you include LED.h, it's going to include the class LED. So now it's just like you have written the class here on top of the program. And now I verify again and it's working. So as you can see, first step, we have removed the class from the main program and now the main program is actually much shorter, which is of course better. And one thing about this uh, new file, okay, if you want to remove it or rename it or whatever, well, so you can create a new file like this, new tab, you can also rename, okay, and if you click on delete, it's going to remove the file. 